Naji here. In this video, we will be discussing on lang chain memory. Okay. So we know that the memory is very important in a conversational model or conversational LLM, right? So just like in chat GPT. So take an example in chat GPT. Here we can I can ask a question like uh, list top five uh, footballers in the world okay so this is the query that i am passing to chat gpt so they have mentioned they have said like five names okay then i am asking my next question will be okay um maybe whose name starts with n from the above okay see so they have mentioned that from the above the player name who start with the n is neymar junior okay so here what is mean that here i didn't mention about those five names right so it took from the memory from the previous history the chatgpt understood that okay these are the five five names okay so based on that it identify neymar is the person who starts whose name start with n okay so the same feature we can implement using lang chain okay so for that let me do some kind of installation here pip install open a so lang chain is already connecting i mean uh, notebook is already connecting okay so lang chain memory so as i as we discuss uh, so memory is very important in a conversational interface or conversational chat model because uh, then only like it will able to provide a good result so there are mainly two actions when we talk about memory that is one is read from memory and another is write to memory so in a lang chain what happens is see this kind of a small workflow so whenever a question is asked okay the question will be sent to the model okay and before it processed before it process what it does is it will read from the memory okay so it will read from the memory and both the question and the memory will be sent to the model okay then after the processing it will generate the output and this answer or the output will send back to the user the end user and before send it back to user this will write to this will write the result to the memory okay so there are two step one is read from the memory before it process and it will write into memory before send to the end user so that is the basic workflow that happens in lang chain i mean lang chain memory okay. and there are different types of memory that is supported by lang chain one is conversation memory then another one is conversation buffer window memory entity memory and conversation knowledge graph memory conversation summary memory conversation summary buffer memory conversation token buffer memory and vector store backend memory okay so in this video we will be concentrating on conversational conversation buffer memory okay so i have here i have i have already written the code so now let me execute it okay so here what i am doing i am from lang chain memory i am importing conversation buffer memory and i am creating a object of conversation buffer memory and here it provides an option to insert the user i mean insert a uh, message that is hi okay so this is i am calling a add user message so this will act as a message from the user and another in the next line i am using a aa message add aa message function and this will i am giving like whatsapp so this will consider as a message from aa model okay so now let me this let me run this memory dot load variables here we can see that a keyword called history and here we can see that human is aa and the answer is whatsapp okay the same thing maybe i can write it in another way i mean not in another way i can add like uh, memory dot 
chat chat memory dot add user give me a uh, fruit name okay I'm, I'm just giving that it's a object now that add user okay add user message okay so it is saved to memory okay now let me print the memory dot dot memory variables here i can pass the dictionary okay so here we can see that uh, first it is a hi then next is from ai whatsapp then human says give me a fruit name okay so this is how uh, the uh, the history or the message is saved in the conversation buffer memory here we have saved it in manual but in our we can i can show you end to end a program so that like we will get an idea how it automatically happens okay and for that let me collect with connect with collab google collab so here i'm just connecting with the google collab let me connect with my account i'm giving the permissions here I allow it okay it's done now i am importing i am connecting with my drive now i am importing my keys so in one of the keys i have saved the open ai key so let me run it here okay now we have set the open ai key okay here i am these are the basic step that we are doing i am importing the open ai prompt template lang chain and the conversation buffer memory now let me import it let me enter the let me create a open ai model now coming back to the next cell okay here i have created a template it says you are a nice chatbot having conversation with a humor and previous conversation so here i am expecting a variable chat history okay and uh, here new human question as a question and we will have the response here so here this is the key here we are passing a chat underscore history here okay but in a buffer memory we know that it is saving the buffer in a variable called history okay so let me correct it just a second here we are we are expecting a chat history now uh, let me make a history and uh, let me remove it here memory key okay now let me run it here so we are expecting a history here now i am running a prompt template i'm declaring a conversation buffer memory and here we are creating a llm chain okay here we can see that i am passing the llm prompt and verbose is true and passing the memory just writing it just executing it and i am passing a question as hi so this question will come here in the prompt and i am passing hi so here we can see that in the response we can see that hi and the history is empty okay now text is hi there and how can i help you okay so this is the response from llm model now instead of chat history let me add chat history here okay now it is expecting a variable chat history now let me execute this again let me run it here okay maybe i have to run it again let me run all the cells
from the here see here we are getting a exception because the template is expecting a key called chat history okay but our conversation memory is actually passing a variable called history okay so for that what we need to do we need to pass a key it's called a memory key here i can pass the memory key as chat history okay now let me execute it now this is working fine because we said the con by default the conversational buffer memory expect a key called history but now we change the memory key as a chat history okay so this chat history will pass to the template chat history keyword okay so here when we scroll down we can see that okay it is finished and this question is high and chat history, chat history is empty and the result is hi there how can i help you now i am executing a conversation the question is what is your name okay so here it says um we can see that the question is what is your name and chat history is human hi and ai shows hi there how can i help you so in the result it says that my name is ai chatbot it is nice to meet you so my next question is name five best football players okay spelling is wrong maybe i can correct it executing again so here the result is the first uh the five best players in the football of all time is messi cristiano ronaldo diego maradona pele and the john i mean johan cruyff so when we scroll down so let me ask another question so here we can see the history okay see the entire history we can see it here right okay now i can ask who has the more goals in the above so it says the messi has a more goals 672 goals okay the cristiano ronaldo second place in 656 goals okay uh, maybe it's wrong or correct but our our intention is to test the conversation memory okay okay so this is how the conversational buffer memory works it keeps all the data in the memory and this will be utilized in the this will help to predict the next conversation very easily or very meaningfully okay and we can quickly look into the pros and cons okay the pros of conversational buffer memory is like it is very easy to use okay and it keeps entire chat history okay and it is help us to provide accurate references for this chat history and it will help the model to do the contextual understanding okay so we saw we already saw that particular example and the the disadvantage is actually it keeps since it keeps the entire chat history its memory usage is very high and and if you use like further more and in a longer conversations it will reduce this performance okay because it take lot of memory and the result will take some time okay and another is uh, limited scalability since it is a memory it has a limitation so we cannot grow like up to a limit okay so these are the major pros and cons of using the buffer memory okay lang chain buffer memory so that is all about in this video so in our coming video we can discuss more about the other types of lang chain memory okay so please do like and subscribe and if you have any questions please mention in the comment box i will try to answer it okay Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.